Ukrainian troops battle exhaustion as war drags into second winter. Istrik, a 26-year-old soldier in eastern Ukraine, finally managed to fall asleep one morning, exhausted from the relentless battles against Russian forces in the Pinewood Forest near Kremina. His rest was cut short just an hour later when a fresh firefight broke out, forcing the senior combat medic back into action in a fierce and lengthy exchange. We had a firefight for over 20 hours, said Istrik, identified by his military call sign. Nonstop fighting, assaults, evacuations, and you know, I managed it, he told a Reuters reporter visiting his position on Thursday. And we all managed it. We aren't very fresh, and right now we need to find strength. His description of recent clashes and the fatigue that he and his unit are experiencing underscore the huge strain that the war, now in its 21st month, is putting on Ukraine's limited resources and on its troops. The soldiers also know that Russia has a far bigger army and more weapons and ammunition, raising the uncomfortable question of how Ukraine can ever repel the invaders once and for all in Europe's bloodiest conflict since World War II. Ukraine's commander-in-chief, Valery Zaluznyi, described as stalemate on the battlefield in an interview published this week, adding that a protracted, attritional war would favor Russia and could threaten the very state. Read Russia's Shoigu accuses West of seeking to expand Ukraine war to Asia-Pacific. Only new capabilities, including more supplies from Western allies as well as locally produced drones, would tip the balance back in Kiev's favor, Zaluzny I said. The highly respected general's stark assessment coincides with the advent of seasonal rains, which makes it harder to advance over muddy ground, and follows a summer counteroffensive which has liberated far less territory than Kiev had hoped. For those in the trenches, while exhaustion is unavoidable, motivation remains strong. Istrik, speaking in a broad West Ukrainian accent, recounts his grim experiences with a winning smile. Asked whether he could continue to fight for another year, or even two, he replied, I think so, for sure. Istrik serves in a rifles battalion of the 67th Mechanized Brigade in the Serebryansky Forest in the Luhansk region. Most of the province is occupied by the Russians. The ground around the road to the trenches is dotted with craters from incoming shells, and charred trees have snapped in half from the explosions. Fighting of this kind is raging along the front lines running from the border with Russia's Belgorod region in the northeast all the way to the Black Sea in the south. District said Russia had taken huge losses in the area. Five Ukrainian soldiers and an evacuation team were also killed by recent shelling nearby, he added. Reuters could not independently verify his account of casualties, but tens of thousands of troops have died in battle over 20 months of a conflict that shows no sign of ending. Having focused on defense earlier in the year, Ukraine launched a counteroffensive in June in a bid to wrest back the initiative and cut Russia's supply lines by thrusting south towards the Sea of Azov. Five months on, that objective remains a distant dream. Ukrainian forces are some 80 to 90 kilometers from the coast, and extensive Russian defenses have so far largely held firm. More dramatic advances are still possible. Last year, Russian forces swiftly retreated from positions in Kherson region in early November. But offensive operations could be stymied by muddy conditions. It's one thing to run 300 meters to an enemy position in June, and totally another when you are up to your knees in mud, warm clothes, protective gear, a backpack with spare clothes, Colonel Alexander Popov, 